back for this match already. And we are going in. So let's see how this one turns out, shall we? Yeah, definitely for sure. I mean, like, uh, it's actually interesting to see how both teams are lined up already for this. But uh, we got RVS on Alpha and BMHSF on Bravo team. Uh, looks like... Take us through the most interesting ships. What's the most interesting ships for you, Revan? Yay! Incomparable. <laughs> Incomparable. There we go. Incomparable from BHSF. Um, blah, blah, blah. I can't even English anymore. BMHSF. Ah, why do you love it so much, Revan? Come on, tell us. It's it's got big guns i just love it it's just got big guns and it has a big super effect that's what i love about the sound of it um in all seriousness though it is a very unique warship that you can fire torpedoes as well but it has some cool features about it with the big guns that you can actually citadel any of the battleships if you will wish any time but hey i mean like i just love the sound of the guns that's all I can say. <laughs> I mean, big gun sound, what what else can you love about it? The one of the most interesting ships though for me from BMHSF, obviously in addition to say the incomparable, because I mean, what else can you compare that to? Um, is gonna be the Regolo. Oh, I think the true. Regolo is a very interesting choice to be bringing uh, for this map. Yeah. I mean, you got the full speed Italian smoke. You do have obviously uh, this like sap shells. It is. Uh, I think what they called it a flotilla leader or something. So it's more like a light cruiser, but it doesn't have a citadel and it's classed as a destroyer. So it is very, very good at trying to farm and hunt down enemy destroyers, kill them, and then run away with its smoke and everything. So let's see how effectively BMHSF are going to use this one. Interesting ship wise, though, on the enemy team, uh, in terms of RVS, the most interesting one for me is definitely going to be the Vermont. Hmm. It's interesting to see how BMHSF have actually gone out with a bit of a hard push towards... Hmm. Hey, actually. Well they're, well, they're taking it nice and easy at the moment. Stalingrad is ready uh, just for shots across the map. Kleber is looking just to uh, go into A and try and get an early cap. Yeah. Z42 in the center from BMHSF is just looking uh, for just reverse and get some angles. Potentially get Bravo whilst we got uh, what makes sense in my mind, Rigolo and Salem pushing for C. Now, this Rigolo, I, I would be very careful if I were him because look at the enemy Kleber from RVS. If he decides to turn in towards those, that little island in C, that could be a little interesting gunfight there. But it doesn't look like he's doing that and he's actually trying to stick out wide. Oh, or is he turning in? No, he's actually sticking out wide. He's sticking away, but... Uh... Oh, Z42 did get spotted. Now a lot of shells coming in. Oh. He's already lost 10k HP from the Vermont. Wow, that's not a great start for BMHSF. And RVS uh, Z42 is only let, lost not much at all, and he's still playing he's, away. Exactly. He, they're still both all right, but that, that's a huge amount of damage to have lost on uh, your destroyer early on in this game. 5k. Yeah. Jeez. That Des Moines radar is just so punishing. He's yeah. down to 1,500 hit points, man. That's not great. That BM 1,200. Is this Des Moines going to be able yeah. to finish him? He's, he's getting absolutely wasted at he's this point. He's nearly outside of radar range. He goes down! Wow! He goes down three minutes into the game. That's impressive. That is a focus terrible fire. loss from BMHSF. That's impressive focus firing, though. Uh, from RVS though. It's actually very oh, it was well played. Fantastic focus fire, but like BMHSF. Shots going out to the Kremlin from the long range. From the lost this early. Kremlin shots. Not a huge amount of damage, only 2k. But yeah, losing a destroyer like that straight off the bat, that's going to cause them some serious troubles, I reckon, going forward. However, on the flip side, they have managed to get two of the caps. So see how well this does play off for them. Yep. Nice shots going in towards the Marseille, and oh, the Marseille really got hit hard there. Yeah, some big hits coming across, especially from like the Salem, etc. That Salem, though, he's copping a lot of damage, and I mean, a lot of damage from all these different ships focusing him. He's got to be worried about these torpedoes now from the gearing. If he's not careful, he's going to eat a couple of them. 
Oh. Oh. This might kill him if he does if he's not careful. Yep, he's gonna cop maybe two. Ooh. No! Ooh. That is too close. Wow. That was super close, man. He's but, so lucky to have gone away with that. Now, as we can see with BMHSF from Alpha side, they've got the cap and now they're actually rotating everything back across into center. I like this. They're trying to make up for the gap in which they lost the Z42 in center. So they're trying to plug that gap, try and bring their ships back and deal with that. Yeah, the the, the, DD, the DD that the BMHSF's got at the moment in Brother Cap, that's actually very good play what he's doing right there. But hang on a minute. He's, getting, he's spotted already? Yeah, he has, um, well, it's a Regolo, so it doesn't actually have the best concealment. So he got spotted out by the Z42, that was in there, and he might actually be, is he hydroed by the Des Moines? It doesn't look like 6 km range, though. He, I think he's, he's hydroed by the Des Moines. Yeah, he's within 5 kilometers of the Des Moines, he's hydroed by him. Oh, wow. Oh, that's terrible news for this Regolo. He's going to get absolutely murdered now by this Des Moines, and, unless he can just sneak out of this gap in time. Can he make it? I don't think he makes it around there. No, Des Moines yeah, yeah. is completely over committing onto him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh man, this Des Moines is going to have an absolute field day. Yep, this Des Moines is really going going all in on this regular. Meanwhile, this Salem though. Oh, he eats a torpedo. There he goes. Salem gone. Yep. Oh, this is not looking good for BMHSF. And the Regolo beaches again. That's it. He's so dead. Oh, he's he, dead he doesn't now. live. He does not leave this. Goodbye. Goodbye, Rigolo. Wow. Fantastic stuff from uh, RVS there to shut down. Shut down. Three well, ships two have ships gone in very, down. very quick succession the, the, there. The, the, the three ships have gone down really quick. Uh, uh, back to back. And, you know, the, that's in, incredible, man. That's incredible. And now I think RVS... Oh, sorry. Beam HSF is just in shambles now. I don't think they get out from this. Oh, the Napoli um, and Stalingrad are really hammering ooh, the Des Moines. Big help shells uh, into the Des Moines. Whoa, Napoli whoa. finishes off the Des Moines in center. I mean, that's just payback yeah. for what he's managed to uh, do to the destroyer. Yeah, exactly. But I'm still going to be struggling here to see how uh, BMHSF comes back from this one. Same here. There is a chance, though, especially if this Club Air plays it correctly with those central caps. But... Club Air is actually focusing far end on the Vermont. Will he hit him? Maybe he does get some hits. No, nothing Not much. Really special there. Shots but let's take a look back. over on C cap. This Marseille, he's getting absolutely focused now, and uh, this is not going to be looking like a very nice situation. BMHSF dead. Well, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Hang on. One, two, three, four, Ooh. five. five. Shots from Kremlin two. out to the Ohio. Yeah, this is like... anything good. Oh, yeah. that's all right. Damage. <laughs> it's Marseille, he's just eating damage from this Des Moines, he's sh been showing his broadside, it's not fun. Oh, shots from Ohio, are they going to nail this Marseille? Let's see, 3, 2, 1. Decent hit there. Marseille, he's trying to push around the corner there, I think, and trying to get some citadels into this Marseille. Can he get them? No, he's not, he's actually just going to sit there and try and get some stuff against the Colbert. The bear tops on the way to the Marseille. Yeah. Uh, oh, Kremlin, Kremlin just managed to blast straight through the front of the Marseille there. I'll say from RVS pushing forward now, trying to look for what damage he can get. Because if he can even get this ram against this Kremlin, that's going to be very, very good news for them. Look at this. Oh, he's going to be watching though, careful for he's Marseille on his left. Though. Oh, if it's Ooh, this Marseille doesn't actually have his gun stunned yet. Is there going to be a ram? He's going to try and go for the ram. Can this... Amase gets it held by the Ohio. Can he get his guns in time? Can he get guns in time? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Marseille gets the ram off against the Kremlin. <laughs> and now this Marseille here, he's going to just go down to this Ohio and all these ships surrounding him. There he goes. There yeah. he goes, gone. And uh, Shut down. Basically, basically the 910 line flank is gone. Uh, That's it. I, yeah. I don't really see BMHSF coming back from this one. And now the incomparable is being focused. Yeah, that's not ideal. He's got Z42 in front of him opening up. He's got Napoli to his left. Potentially Vermont to his right if oh, Vermont doesn't have shots, but that's all right. 
Yeah, mind you though, I mean like the incomparable on his own as it is, it's just like, yeah. He's uh Yeah, he, he he's he's trapped down. He's he doesn't come back from this one. I'm actually having a look at see what the other, you know, teammates are doing. The Stalingrad is actually hanging back. And the Napoli as well. Well, the Napoli is moving away. Uh yeah, they they're just too passive, yeah. really. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the stall oh, are these torpedoes going to hit this incomparable? Let's see. He is trying to accelerate. I think he does get out of these torpedoes. Chance, yeah, he gets out of those uh, yeah. Italian sea mines. A big hits from the Napoli's AP there. I mean, incomparable as fun as that ship is, it doesn't really have the armor to back it up. That was unreal. Ooh. Shells incoming. There we go. Napoli putting some big hits there into the incomparable. And yeah, this incomparable, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these little pedos on the way here. That's oh, it. is he dodging this one? I don't think don't so. Think so. Yeah, I'm extending himself. Nope, he eats it. And, and he's there he take goes. It the Taken out by the Napoli. Napoli absolutely shutting him down there. And then suddenly a surprise Clabea comes around to try and deal with this uh, Z42, but Vermont says hello, smacks him a little bit. And yeah. The higher Napoli and the uh, gearing, well, the Napoli is basically last Ooh. man standing. Does this Z42 go down to this? He does. He does. So well done to that Clabea for that. Well done. And the Napoli goes down to these torps. The enemy is about to win. Yeah, well done for the gearing for those torpedoes there. And I think he easily dodges the Napoli ones in return. Mm, mm. Oh, I think that's going to be well and truly GG. Don't think uh, BMHSF is coming back from this game. And a bit unfortunate though, they actually had uh, the upper hand at, at the beginning, BMHS, said, but they got too ambitious right at the beginning. They, get, they had the upper hand, but then losing that Z42 followed by losing both the Salem and the Regolo, yeah, just, yeah. that just sealed with them, unfortunately. Yeah, that's it. I mean, much. everyone's just piling onto the Stalingrad now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't want to be in his shoes. Yeah. What about you, Panerix? What would you be feeling right now if you were the Stalingrad player right now? I just got it over with and off to the next <laughs> battle. <laughs> what else can you do at this point? Not much, you can. But he's been focused fired on by all angles. Oh, it's set up from the Ohio. <laughs> yep, set up from the Napoli. He's done. He's and gone. 35 seconds left on the game clock. I mean, everyone knows where this club area is. He's shooting. Yeah. Just some last Hail Mary torps out because, you know, uh, what else is he meant to do? Exactly. He's trying to motor into A, but I mean, even if he does step in, this it's not going to extend the game time out by that much. No. Only a few seconds. I mean, what, there's five seconds left on the game clock. Four, three, three two, and game. And game. So, congrats to RVS. That's actually a very impressive win right there. Yeah, 100%. Very, very well done to them for that uh, first win. So the next a map very we decisive win. win. It was a very, very decisive win there, I will say. Hit. Very well.